Hey guys, I'm Orthodon, and we are back for Seven Deadly Sins, Dragon's Judgment, episode 21. So, the defeat of the Demon King has been accomplished. He is, should be, officially gone now. They destroyed him, they destroyed the commandments, and seemingly all's well that ends well, although Esconer is gone. We did bid farewell to him. I really loved his farewell. I loved that the per one of the per people like closest to him Merlin like jumped in and and gave him a kiss and got burned for it and I'm hoping that's going to be like a a permanent scar she carries with her in remembrance like you know uh, uh, that's what she seemed to make it seem like it was going to be you know um but they are going to be having a holiday to celebrate this day um, it's gonna happen every year, and I'm sure we're gonna see some partying, some aftermath stuff, and, and maybe, I don't know, we still, I, I still, I'm not sure if Meliodas has to leave now or not, you know, because the commandments are destroyed, but Meliodas still awakened that power that's, like, on par, if not higher than the Demon King is what, uh, um, wow, Zell just said, so I'm I'm curious if he's still gonna have to leave. Is Elizabeth still gonna go with him? You know all all that stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Alrighty, we're gonna start here in five, four, three, two, one. Now. Interesting background track. The holy war has ended. Yes. Ah, uh, he did go out in a blaze of glory for sure. Damn. Uh, okay. I'm sure, there's still going to be some conflicts, but. Mm. Will it? Oh god, this chick. Yep. They teased at something like that. The Age of Chaos. That's like an age-old thing, right, guys? Like, the, the whole idea of, like, when you take away, like... The light and dark keep balance in the world, so the... So the Demon King and the Supreme Deity... We're keeping a balance of light and dark, and with a big portion of the dark being defeated, now the now there's like an unbalance, you know. So, I mean, it happens in a lot of shows. Ah, excuse me, sorry about that. I usually try not to crinkle the bottle, but I forgot <laughs> and just started chugging down the water. But an age of chaos, huh? We have some images in the opening that I feel like we never actually got. I kind of want to look at them again. Now that we, like, saw the Demon King, like, possess the Earth, right? We saw that thing, right? That was a thing the Demon King summoned. But here, with all, like, the castles, yeah. We, like, never saw anything with that. So I wonder if that's, like, the age of chaos. Like, just random-ass chaotic things happening or something. I don't know. Or is that supposed to, like, tease the idea of the Demon King going into the Earth as, like, those castles, like, coming alive or something? I don't know. What the witch has always wanted? Interesting. Vivian, that's her name. True. True. A phoenix, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the hell is that imagery? Ha! <laughs> 
Curse. Lucky. Okay. Huh. Okay. This is not what I expected. So Gil is off the hook, but... Huh. Oh my god. You can call me mommy now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Hmm, so Merlin's aware of it. Ominous. Oh, so glad she sells the burns. But does that mean she knows something that... Hmm. Hmm. I think they look good too. She's just like, I'll heal him then. Bon. Huh. Oh. Wow, okay. So he used them all up. Does that mean that they're just not going to return? Or can they return someday? Interesting. Well, I'm glad he doesn't have to leave, though. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> huh. <laughs> hmm. We still don't know what her sin is. By that I mean, like, what she did in the past that Esconer mentioned. Oh shit. What? Don't be evil. Oh shit. So she's gonna be bringing him back? This seems like some dark magic shit. Okay, like a pocket dimension he was stored in? This shit's ominous, I feel like. 
Oh my god. Hawk. <laughs> so I gave up. <laughs> She's like the mother of chaos or whatever, right? Oh, heavenly one. What? I like how a lake is going to be what brings him back. I don't know the full story of, like, King Arthur and stuff, but I know, I've heard of, like, the Lady of the Lake and stuff like that. So I just, like... The parallels. What is going on? Jeez! I feel like it should be a good thing, but I also feel like it's very ominous. Okay, where'd the sword go? Is it actually Arthur? Like, regular Arthur? They said bring the master back. What? Well, is Merlin a bad guy? The King of Chaos. Well, shit. Whoa, his eyes. Oh, they're both like that now. Mother of Chaos. Meets the King of Chaos. Oh! Yup, here's the shit from the opening, isn't it? Yup. What the hell is this shit? What is going on? Huh. What is happening? I am so confused. Yep, that's definitely the shit from the opening. Bond is still smashed. Jeez.
<laughs> I'm so confused, guys. Interesting. So she she doesn't want to make him a, an enemy of like Meliodas, right? Jeez. Not yet anyway. Like on? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't sound good, whatever it is. Interesting. Damn. Oh shit. Lady of the Lake. <laughs> I call BS. <laughs> Priestess of Chaos. Nice. <laughs> An ancient tale, oh boy. They love telling ancient tales. Whoa! Yeah, we've heard that, right? That, yeah. That's where uh, Merlin's from. Jeez, at birth. Damn. Oh. 
Ah, Meliodas. That's a big sword, or at least the perspective of that was a big sword. Yeah, that sword is way bigger than I remember it being. Holy shit. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Shit. Damn. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like this is the first time we've heard the sacred tree in, like, parallel to the other two. Okay. Interesting. Jeez. Interesting. Interesting. Jesus, guys. I'm just reeling from exposition. Okay, that was a lot of info, a lot of things. I will say, while the outro goes, and before we even get into any discussion, I'm slightly disappointed in the fact that it was all started based on the fact that she liked Meliodas, but Meliodas was with someone else. I'm not the biggest fan of the storyline of, like, someone devoting their life to doing something like this because of jealousy. It's just, I feel like it's an overused trope, and I'm, I, I will say I'm not the biggest fan of it, you know? But it's fine. I'm more intrigued by the rest of what the hell's going on that I'm not, I'm not super worried about it, you know? So, but damn. <laughs> All right. This should be it, I believe. And yeah, that is it, guys, for episode twenty one. Damn, that was a lot of shit, guys. Holy crap. Like, 
Uh, so, a, a whole new, like, power scaling kind of, like, entity has entered the fray, you know? Like, first we had the supreme being, or the supreme deity and the, the demon king, who were our, like, power ceiling kind of thing. They were, like, the ultimate beings, you know? And now that we defeated one of them... Now we have this this chaos that has entered, and I mean, obviously we've known of the Mother of Chaos ever since the movie. Um, mentioned it uh, of Hawk's mom being uh, the Mother of Chaos or whatever. Um, but so Merlin's goal has been to bring back the bring back like resurrect chaos now. The Mother of Chaos, if that's Hawk's mom, I don't know if that means it's been in, like, an idle state, but if they're resurrecting, like, I don't fully understand it all yet, you know? Like, we still have stuff to learn, because Hawk's mom still seems very much alive if, uh, if she is the Mother of Chaos, unless she's in, like, a sleeping state, and that's why she's just, like, roaming around with, like, the boar hat on her back or whatever, you know? But, like... Things seem to happen between when when Arthur gained this power, like, Hawk's mom was, like, yelling out, too, while he was yelling out. So, like, I don't know if that, like, kind of awakened Hawk's mom or, or something or got closer to it. But, uh, but either way, this, this chaos is what created everything. It's essentially, like... It's, it's what created the Demon King, the, the Supreme Deity, the Sacred Tree... Um, and I mean, I assume it's also what created the giants. They didn't, they didn't explicitly say that, right? They, they said like the, they said it created those three things, but then it said like the giants were also there, but they were just like an angry, like they wanted to fight each other the whole time. Uh, but then it said they created humans and maybe that's a subtitle error, but it made it seem like the giants created the humans. I wonder how that happened, if that's the case. But if that's the case, um, but then they said, like, humans embodied, like, you know, love and murder and, and all of these, like, emotions that are so chaotic that they became these beings that were, that were so close to the original chaos that formed everything that the supreme deity and the demon king got, got jealous and worried that the, the mother of chaos would love these humans more than them, you know? Um, and that fear drove them to, I guess, the holy war, you know, kind of thing. Um, but, but yeah, that's, I, I almost want to go back real fast and see that, um, if I can, uh, do, 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 the whole story of, of Merlin's stuff, but then, like, Okay, yeah. Chaos first made this world, and then formed the Supreme Deity, the Demon King, and lastly the Sacred Tree. And it says, eventually the Supreme Deity created the Goddess Clan in the Celestial Realm. The Demon King created the Demon Clan in the Demon Realm. Right, and the Sacred Tree created the Fairy Clan in the Fairy Realm. There was a fourth race, the Giant Clan. See, it doesn't actually say that, like, Chaos created them. However, they were drunk with power and only sought to harm each other. And then it says, like right here, they became a savage race and created humans. Yeah, so they say they became a savage race and created humans. So, it is talking about the Giants. So, I wonder... I wonder how they created humans, you know, it's an, it's an interesting way, maybe that's a translation issue, like, did, like, some of their children, like, some of their offspring come off, like, smaller, you know, and that eventually, like, are all humans technically giants, just not as big as the giants, you know, kind of thing, I don't know, but, like, I don't know how they could have created, it's not like, I mean, I guess they have some magic, so... You know, Dn Dn definitely has magic and stuff like that. So maybe, maybe they use some form of magic to create humans. I don't know, but that's interesting. Um, but, but yeah, so it's a, it's a crazy story. And and so Merlin, 
Like, like I said, I'm a little mad that the fact that, like, she she started trying to bring back this chaos to fill a void in her life, and, and that void was... My problem is, is that void was created because she liked Meliodas, but Meliodas liked Elizabeth. So, you know, she was... She couldn't bring herself to hate them, but she still, like, she tried to fill her, like... She tried to fill her whole, like, world with knowledge, and then she had, like, gained this, like like, infinity power because of all the knowledge that she's gained. So, like, maybe she's gained so much knowledge that she she can't gain anymore because she's learned it all, you know? So she wants to, like, introduce this chaos into the world. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this is all going to play out. It's, it's really interesting and confusing and crazy. When, like, that first shit started happening, I was like, it's not what I... Like, I expected Arthur to come back, right? I did not expect this whole, like, chaos thing. But, like, Arthur is still, like, a good dude. And she put that chaos in him. Yet she didn't, like, make him rampage against Meliodas. She, like, made sure that he realized that Meliodas didn't betray him and stuff like that. So it's not like she's trying to turn Arthur against Meliodas and start, like, another war between the two. But she introduced this power into this world that she didn't need to, you know? So, like, does she have more ambition that we don't know about? Like, is she literally just trying to fill a void by by bringing this into the world? And for some... Like, why does she feel like bringing this chaos into the world again is going to fill some kind of void within her? I'm not sure. But... Yeah. Now, were we lied to about the way that no because like i feel like the the demon king like confirmed that they gave her something you know because you know how she got like a blessing from both the demon king and the supreme deity in that story they didn't mention it and i thought one of the blessings was like the eternal life that she has but she said that she like froze her aging like, herself. Like, she chose to do it, you know? Um, maybe I'm just... Maybe I maybe I incorporated her long life with this... Uh, with the Supreme... The Supreme Deity and Demon King's blessings, and maybe they weren't connected to that, you know? But it seemed like she halted her own aging, whereas I thought that was a blessing. So I thought, like, what if the blessing whole thing was a lie, you know? But I thought the Demon King, like, even said, like... Um, like, called her, like, a, like, a, a betrayer, or something along those lines. I don't think that was the word he used, but when he saw Merlin, he got, like, angry at her, you know, because she took the blessings and then went back on her, like, side of the promise, her side of the deal kind of thing, you know? So, I don't know. Um, but I'm sure we'll learn more as we go. I'm really curious if, like... Is Merlin going to end up being a, a bad guy now? Or, like, will she will she just keep trying to justify what she's doing? Like, does she actually... Does she think she has good intentions bringing this chaos into the world, but it's going to end up, like, being bad? Or is she just going to straight up be a bad guy? You know, like, I don't know what her goals are with this with this chaos. Now that it's, now that it's been in... Like, because I understand how it came about and, and everything, but now that it's in the world, now that Arthur is the king of chaos, right? Like, what now? That's my question. Like, what does she do with that power, and how does it fulfill this, like, void within her, you know? Like, I don't know, like, I don't know what, what happens next, so. Like, she mentioned, like, be the salvation for Britannia, right? Like you're gonna save us all, but, like, save us all from what? Like, why is he needed? Like, the Demon King's destroyed. Like, the Supreme Deity hasn't even showed herself. So, like, what... Like, it's supposed to be a time of peace now, but why Why do we need this chaos, you know? Unless her idea of saving Britannia vastly differs from what I imagine saving Britannia means, you know? Um, so, I don't know. It's really gonna be interesting to, to learn... Uh, but I guess, uh, I'll briefly talk about it. The beginning was, was kind of funny with Vivian showing up. She's still alive. Hendrickson, uh, saved her with his magic. 
And I imagine, I mean, obviously that means she, because Dreyfus tried so hard to save her life, she fell in love with him, I guess. Um, she mentioned a curse being lifted. I imagine that's something that I don't remember, um, but some kind of curse being on Vivian. I, I vaguely remember that there might have been something like that, but I can't remember all the details, so sorry about that. Like, she's just not that interesting of a character, so I guess I just kind of forgot. Um, either that, or it's something that we're not supposed to know of yet, and I'm not forgetting things. But I imagine I'm just forgetting something. But I don't really know what curse she was talking about, but, um, but yeah, the, uh, so she's in, in love with Dreyfus now, and she walks up to Greenmore, and she's like, call me mommy, you know, this is creepy. But, uh, but yeah, so I imagine we're gonna see some antics in the future of, of Dreyfus dealing with that, but at least, uh, Gil doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, now they just have to worry about this chaos, you know, but... Anyways, guys, uh, honestly, I think that's really all I have to say for this episode. Like, so much, like, crazy shit happened with this... I guess I didn't really talk... I, I mentioned it during the episode, but I like all those connections to, like, the whole story of King Arthur. Like, in, in our world, we have, like, the 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 books about it or whatever, and it's it's mentioned in a lot of different shows and, and different things, you know. Um, and there being, like, a Merlin and, and Arthur and the, the sword and the stone and... You know, I'm pretty sure the the sword was blessed, like, given to someone by the Lady of the Lake. I don't know the full story. I've never actually read it. I've only picked up, like, little bits and pieces of that that whole, like, story um, from other content and other people talking about it and stuff like that. So I'm probably wrong about a lot of things, but I like how in this show she's, like, the priestess of the lake and she bestowed the weapon to the first... Uh, the first warrior that, that held it, but also that sword disappeared. I don't know if it got, like, absorbed into him, and now he's gonna be able to harness, like, the sword's power within him, or is it just, like, maybe he has, like, a pocket dimension where it's stored, and when he wants to use it, he'll summon it, you know, kind of thing? I don't know. Um, I don't know what happened to it, or maybe it just fell for now, and for some reason it was out of the scene the whole time, but either way, um, I imagine we're either gonna see the sword again, or it is a part of him, you know, so... But, yeah, all that was interesting. I like that whole, like, and I like that he was, like, brought back by the lake at first before we even even knew about, like, the priests of the lake being in there and, and stuff like that. I just liked all those, like, parallels to the story that I, or, like, what I, the little bit I know of the story, you know? Um, I'm sure people that actually know the story, there's probably a lot more parallels. Sorry, there's a bug flying right by the lens, I think. Um, but, yeah, anyways, uh... That is going to be it for me now, guys. There's going to be a lot more talking about this in the future, so I'm not going to exhaust too much now. Uh, we're going to learn more. I imagine the rest of this season is just going to be build up for whatever is happening for that, you know? Probably, like, maybe we're still going to do some partying, I don't know, with, with this news and stuff like that, but I imagine we're not going to be able to wrap up this whole chaos aspect in three more episodes, you know? So, um, but, yeah. Thank you guys so much. That is going to be it from me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you did. Check out my Patreon if you want to see a couple more episodes ahead. You could see almost to the last episode if you if you become a patron. Actually, next week um, you'd be able to see the, uh, the final episode too. So check that out if you're interested. Link is in the description. I have my Patreon exclusives on there too where I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen, Black Sails, and Reincarnated as a Slime Season 2. Check all that out if you're interested as well. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.